Hello, it's Chris. I finally thought I'd better just get in and record this video and show you a look at the bag that I made for Nikki. So this is a purple leather that Nikki picked out. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll just grab a piece of the leather here. So it's a kangaroo leather. And what Nikki wanted and why she liked this leather is that it'll crease and age and get all this nice texture to it. Beautiful, beautiful leather. And I think it's gonna age really, really well. Super, super tough leather, because it's a kangaroo leather. It's a thinner leather, but a much tougher leather than a cowhide leather, because kangaroos have really big, sharp paws. And so they fight with their back feet and like they have to be have a super tough skin to be able to handle kangaroo fights <laughs> and yes they really do happen here in australia kangaroo fights so quite common so this is the bag so as you can see we're going to get that beautiful texture as it ages it's just stunning absolutely beautiful so she's got her feet stiff base in there we've got handles and I've done all the rivets and everything there and we've got our branding there and I've done the branding again with there with um silver heat transfer vinyl so it's a metallic sort of finish but not a super super metallic just enough so that's on there and then the back we've got a slip pocket and it's fully lined as well with that gorgeous lining fabric and that just snaps closed you don't have to do anything it'll just snap right into place without you doing anything and then oh, for this one I've done a recessed zipper panel so it'll hold more and open up wider at the top so open that one up We've got silver zipper pull on the end and a gorgeous a zipper stop on the end and a beautiful zipper pull then when we open it up here she is it's gorgeous so on the back we've also got a zipper pocket with the recessed like with the zipper panel and it's in a mini version of the zipper and that zipper pull so it's exactly the same but it's just a little baby one it's cute <laughs> Then when we open up the pocket, I've done it so it's a plain purple, it coordinates beautifully as usual. So you can easily find what's inside that pocket. You can fit a phone in there, you can fit everything in that pocket. Nice and big, like a really nice big zipper pocket there. Nice and deep and wide. Then on the other side, we've got two lovely big slip pockets and there's something in there for Nikki a little surprise I'll pull it out and show you in a minute when we finish looking at the pockets these pockets have got the leather trim at the top and crystal rivets you might have seen on a previous video where I showed the crystal rivets don't know if this will capture them really well but they're just beautiful they sparkle lovely and inside here oh let me show you the pockets first <laughs> so on each side there's a padded zipper padded padded slip pocket got a zipper on the brain padded slip pockets that hold your glasses cases and your glasses so you can just pop your glasses straight in i won't put my glasses in there because this is zip, um nikki's bag it's not mine but um i've shown videos before where i share that the glasses fit in there perfectly. Sunglasses case or a reading glasses case. So both sides, both sides are padded. So you can put your glasses in without their case. Beautiful bottom all the way around. It's just beautiful. So the little surprise I've got in here, it's so cute, <laughs> is a can, hold, can cooler. <laughs> So like a little stubby holder and it's got my branding on it and then on the back I've got Nikki's name on there so it's personalized and that's out of the same vinyl 
that has the branding on the bag. So it looks really good, even if I do say so myself. I've got one of these for myself and I love it. Um, so I keep mine in my bag and it just sits in my slip pocket. So I used it yesterday when hubby and I went out. I took mine with me and I just kept it in the pocket. And then when we went to get a drink, I had a little holder for it. So no wet condensation on my hands or anything like that. And my drink stayed cooler for longer. So it's just now going to live in my bag. So I'm thinking every bag needs one. If you want one, let me know. I'll make you one. They're just adorable. I've got an assortment of colours. <laughs> I had to have them. I even got some black so I could make one for my hubby. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to include one of those with every bag that I make for my customers because why not? We all should have one in our bag and it takes up no space at all. It even fits in my zipper pouch that I use as my wallet. So I love it. So I can see myself having multiples of those. So there we go. There's that beautiful purple leather handbag. I've got an idea that I'm playing with at the moment with the scraps. I've only got a few small pieces of scraps left. Not enough to make like a um, zipper pouch out of like solid pieces of leather because it's all sort of small pieces. Like I think, um, see like I've got like pieces like that. Couple, I've got about two that size. And then I've got smaller pieces and pieces like little pieces that have got like marks and things like that on them from the leather and that. So I picked out and used the best of what there was on that leather hides that I had. So I used two kangaroo hides for this bag because you've got two big front panels, uh, two big front and back panels, the zipper pocket. The, oh, I really have got zipper on the brain. The slip pocket with the magnet closed up, so that's all leather as well, and then the little leather trim, and then the, the gusset around the top here, and then also the zipper plackets that go on the sides here, so, and the bottom, and the straps, and that. So, a bag like this sort of size does use up quite a bit of leather. You wouldn't think so, but yes, it does. <laughs> So if you wonder why leather handbags are expensive, that would help you know why. So that's the purple leather bag. I'm in love with it. Oh, I've even got the perfect dress to wear with this. <laughs> I have got some purple leather though that I did buy myself as well. So not the same purple leather. It's a different purple leather. I'll just grab my purple leather and I'll show you a little bit. I've got this leather, so totally different leather, still kangaroo leather, but it's different. So this has got like a suede sort of back to it, and it's like a pebble grain. So I've got some of that there for myself. So I might make myself something out of that one. Um, oh, another dress I made myself too. <laughs> this is just, it's been so hot. It's like super hot here today, like I'm sweating here at the moment. Um, so this is just a rayon fabric that I got from a shop called East Coast Fabrics here in Brisbane. And it's just got the little bodice here, one long ruffle, like gathered skirt bit here, goes around my tummy nicely. And then I've put a little frill sort of gathered section on the bottom there. Super, super comfortable. And the back got tan marks from when we went away camping and I had my swimmers on that have got crisscross on the back so and I've still got tan marks and everything there but hey but I think when I make this next time I'll make the straps actually a bit wider because I would like even wider straps because I'd like to get a bit better bra coverage like I sort of tend to wear wider strapped bras so I'd like to know that they're fully covered. This was a pattern by Pattern Emporium called Field of Dreams. I am going to modify this buff, the bodice here, and I might even take it off of this skirt and put my bodice, my own bodice piece on 
the top here same but I'm gonna make multiple adjustments I always like to when I first make a garment or a pattern sew it up how the pattern is written um, and follow their instructions and guidelines and things like that but I found that the bust points are way too high and I've seen in the Facebook group most people having that issue as well I had to do a full bust adjustment to cater for my bust which then adds in a sides side dart which when you follow the method in the pattern it moves the center front darts out further because of where the darts are and where she tells you to do the full bust adjustment I'm going to do different is I'm going to close up the darts that are in the pattern open up a dart to the side bust do my adjustment and then I will put back in a waist dart and I will lower those bust darts because I don't like them coming up too close to my like where, where like the nipple part of my bodice is I like them to sit down like sort of more underneath the bust sort of falling in that bust radius whereas I find if it's up too high I don't really like it as much that's just my personal preference other people just love it just how it is but for me plus size yeah I, I need to do a few minor tweaks but I put in some little ties in the back so that I can bring this in a little bit more but if I don't want to put ties on that's sort of how it falls so it's a bit shapeless on me so putting in the little waist ties brings that in a little bit makes it look like I've got a waist when I really haven't <laughs> It's sort of giving me the illusion because we've got a little bit of gathering here. So, yeah, I love this print. Look at that. Look at the colours. Isn't it beautiful? I'd love a leather bag out of this colour. The rose gold sort of tan coloured bag would be nice. Um, oh, I haven't got my handbag here, but I've worn this dress. And my current wallet, I haven't got up here at the moment. But that's the leather that my bag is made of and it coordinates, coordinates really nicely when I wear this dress it looks really cute so I still have to make a handbag out of this yet for myself which will be the same sort of design like that so there you go I thought I need to just get in and do this video because if I keep waiting I think oh I'm not dressed my nails aren't done my hair's not done my makeup's not done I'll never share the bloody video with you and you'll never see the bag. <laughs> so, there you go. That's it. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.